This is one hell of a mess. Whole TV channels have been taken totally offline. Self-checkout machines have stopped working. Airports have had to resort to whiteboards for departure screens. Even 911 call centers have been put out of action. So if you live in Alaska, best try to memorize these numbers instead because you sure aren't getting a response from calling 911. If you weren't familiar with the blue screen of death, well, you sure are now. Even some giant billboards in Times Square are now advertising it. What the hell is going on? Initially, it was thought this might be some kind of cyber attack. Then people blamed Microsoft. After all, only Windows systems seem to be affected. In reality, the problem lies with CrowdStrike, one of the largest cybersecurity companies in the world. These guys are famous for their endpoint detection and response services. You can think of this as a kind of antivirus solution for companies which have whole fleets of computers. By installing what CrowdStrike calls their sensor on each individual computer, the company can manage the security of all of them from a central dashboard. But herein lies the problem. Overnight, CrowdStrike pushed an automatic update for all the PCs running this sensor, but within the code was some kind of a bug. And because the sensor operates on the kernel level, a problem with it has the potential not just to crash a single process, but rather to crash the whole PC. In their FAQ, CrowdStrike says their sensor is lightweight, unobtrusive. There's no UI, no pop-ups, no reboots. But now, thanks to that bug, computers that have it installed can't reboot at all. They're stuck in a perpetual blue screen of death loop. Bit of a problem that, because how can you remotely push an update to fix a bug, which was itself introduced by an update, when the computers won't even boot to begin with? CrowdStrike have, however, published a fix. Well, kind of. You have to boot the PC into safe mode and delete certain files from the System32 driver folder. But this has to be manually done on every single employee laptop, on every single self-checkout machine, on every single billboard. This is a clusterfuck in the truest sense, for which there is no quick fix. It's what Y2K was meant to be, a collective instantaneous bricking of computer systems worldwide. Some people are seeing the funny side though, CrowdStrike's Wikipedia page was vandalized. But for the most part, this is a complete nightmare. I mean, this happened on a Friday, and who wants to be at work all weekend dealing with this mess? As you might imagine, CrowdStrike is paying a hefty price for this. Their pre-market stock price is down 20%, wiping $15 billion off their market cap. Their CEO was interviewed by NBC News a few hours back, and you can tell it's been a long night for him. At one point, he struggled to even get his words out. Well, when you look at the complexity of cybersecurity, you're always trying to stay one, excuse me, one step ahead of the adversaries. Excuse me. Man, just one second, please. If you're affected by this mess, good luck. I don't envy your position in the slightest. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.